Hey, yo, how's it going, man? Today we're going to be checking out Ratatouille from 2007. First animated movie on the channel. Not sure how it's going to go. Definitely give me a like. Let me know in the comments if you if you want more of these types of movies. Uh, this is kind of uh, I'm treading new water here. So let me know. I've wanted to watch this for a while though, man. I've wanted to watch it for a while. It comes up a lot in pop culture, this movie. I was watching everything everywhere all at once on the channel, did a reaction to it. And there was a whole Ratatouille bit that at first went right over my head, the Rakakuni thing, right over my head. No idea. It's like that movie, Rakakuni. What? If I would have seen this, I would have known. A lot, loads of people always mention it. James Acaster always mention it. I love James Acaster. And he always, well, not always, but I've heard him mention it quite a bit, more than the ordinary, typical person. So <laughs> definitely excited to try this one out. Like and subscribe, follow up on Patreon. Let's get into it, man, let's go. I'll try to swear less in this movie since it's a kid's movie, but uh, I can't. No promises. The best food in the world is made in France. The best food in France is made in Paris. Gusto's restaurant is the toast of Paris. Booked five months in advance. Five months? Fine French cuisine has made his competitors envious. Boys eating good. Chef Gusto's cookbook, Anyone Can Cook, climbed to the top of the bestseller list. Anyone can cook. What's even more amusing is that Gusto actually seems to believe it. I, on the other <laughs> hand, take cooking seriously. I think they, they've portrayed food critics pretty well there. <laughs> they do come off as, as quite snooty, don't they? See, I love cooking, but I think I would be like that chef. You know, I'd get a bit plump. This is me. I think it's apparent I need to rethink my life a little bit. Oh, it's Pat and Oswald. First of all, I'm a rat. <laughs> Which means life is hard. I used to have rats. They're lovely creatures. Flour, eggs, sugar, mm, vanilla bean. Oh. Oh, cream slice. So, you can smell ingredients. So what? Whoa, 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 don't eat that! Turns out that funny smell was rat poison. Oh, shit. Suddenly dad didn't think my talent was useless. Ratatouille dude coming in clutch. Close to godliness. You know, cleanliness is close to... Never mind, let's move on. <laughs> we need to be clear when poison's involved, dude. We need to be clear. We're thieves, dad. And what we're stealing is, let's face it, garbage. It isn't stealing if no one wants it. If no one wants it, why are we stealing it? <laughs> Gotta eat that, man. If you are what you eat, then I only want to eat the good stuff. We got a snob over here. You get picky about what you put in the tank, your engine is gonna die. Now shut up and eat your garbage. It's not a bodybuilder. It's gotta taste good. I know I'm supposed to hate humans, but I mean, just look at what they do with food. I am. I'm a fan of cooking. I, I like watching oh, cookery channels and right. cookery stuff oh. on YouTube. So this is like right on my street. Combine one flavor with another, and something new was created. Cheese and strawberry. I've never tried that before. Yeah, I'm loving this. This is really cool. <laughs> I found a mushroom. I've literally just chopped mushrooms. I got a bolognese cooking downstairs in the slow cooker. Why are you walking like that? I don't want to constantly have to wash my paws. Do you ever think about how we walk on the same paws that we handle food with? Do you ever think about what we put into our mouths? <laughs> I didn't think about him walking like anthropomorphically. <laughs> you found cheese? That would go beautifully with my mushroom! This rosemary! This rosemary up with a few drops from the sweet crab! This guy was born to be a chef. We, we gotta cook this! The key is to keep turning it. Get the smoky <laughs> flavor. I love nice. that, man. Ariel is a rotisserie. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the animation on this is cool, man. <laughs> oh, he's got this kind of... <laughs> They're singed far. Melty. It's not it really looks really good. Taste. Boom! Zap! Kind of taste. Don't you think? What would you call that flavor? Chart? Caramelized? Yeah. It's lightning-y! Fuck, <laughs> oh, we gotta do that again! I know what this needs. Saffron. A little saffron would make this... It's not more expensive than gold, pound for pound. I'm telling you, saffron will be just the thing. Gusto swears by it. Okay, who's Gusto? <laughs> He's the greatest chef the in the MVP. world. MVP. Wrote this cookbook. Wait, 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 wait. You who's your favorite read? chef? I don't know who my favorite yeah, chef is. No. Anthony Bourdain's pretty cool. You must try things that may not work. And you must not let anyone define your limits because of where you come from. Your only limit is your soul. What I say is true. Anyone can cook. 
but it was not to last. Gusto's restaurant lost one of his five stars after a scathing review by... Ah, oh, this guy. You try cooking it then. ...mental loss of another star. Gusto is dead? Was that by natural causes or did he... <laughs> no, you'll lead her to the colony! Uh, not the ML, ammo, brother. Oof. Bird, you need to scarp her out of there, bro. Oh, Start swinging the light! <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love that. I love that. That's, a, that's such a good piece of comedy. Your house is about to fall down, lady. Holy shit. <laughs> You're alive. The book. It's like that being Lion King with the, with the, the stampede. This woman's gonna take herself out. Hold on, son! Give him something to grab onto! I love how we're seeing everything from their like little tiny world, their resourcefulness. Oh shit. So his name's Remy, not Ratatouille. I thought his name was Ratatouille, like the dish. Does Ratatouille become his like signature dish? like winced when he got covered with water then oh here we go here we go left or right obviously gone the wrong one i might have said this i think in my titanic reaction but does anyone else hold their breath when there's like underwater scenes i found myself holding my breath a lot during that oh little remy for a sound Voice, a sign. Oh, I feel really sad something. for him. It's making me feel really sad. Dude, am I coming on my period? <laughs> oh. Can't be so defeatist, bro. Why am I talking to you? Oh, you just lost your family. All your friends. <laughs> you are lonely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're dead. Uh, <laughs> that is the match for wishful thinking. If you focus on the you Now go up well, and look around. <laughs> Man, music's so good in Disney Pixar movies. I hope he finds his family again. <laughs> so I would take it and then eat it. What are you doing? Oh, oh, Shut me up sorry. then, bro. You are a cook. A cook makes... A thief takes. <laughs> a thief. A, yeah, a cook yeah, makes a thief hungry. takes. Yeah, but I, I'm always snacking when I'm cooking, man. I try and save myself, but sometimes, you know, no, you don't it's have tough. It. <laughs> oh, she's unstable, bro. You need to, uh... <laughs> what, what's the end of that sentence? Yes, what is the end of that sentence? Wow, that's a gorgeous reveal. All this time, I've been underneath Paris. God, he didn't even know where he was. That's nuts. I've only passed through Paris briefly from the Eurostar to another train station. We had like half an hour to make the connection and we were running. So I didn't really see Paris, but I was there. So I've kind of been to Paris, technically, but not really. Paris, do on that. See you in Salmon. working. I need to play. See, I like, I like cooking for fun, but I don't think I could handle this stress. Chefs have lower sperm counts as well, right? Because of the heat at height level. Fun fact. <laughs> Marco Pierre White. I quite like his stuff. Still thinking of chefs. How is uh, my mother? Renata. Y yes, Renata. How is she? Good. Well, not good. She's been better. I mean, uh... She died. Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry. Well, don't be. She believes be in blind. heaven, so she's covered. You know, afterlife-wise. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? 
I can raise one eyebrow and not the other. You. I think she hoped it would help, get, you know, get a job. We no, no, no. needed a garbage boy. We're going to work our way up the ranks, though, bro. I can see this. You. We got ourselves some nice I chef whites. A real gourmet kitchen, and I got start somewhere. <laughs> You've read my book. Let us see how much you know, huh? He's nobody. Not nobody. He is part of the kitchen. But he doesn't cook. But he oh. could. Uh, <laughs> no. He's clumsy. What do I always say? Anyone can cook. Well, yeah, anyone can. That's yeah, why are you writing him off so quickly? What is he doing? No, he's ruining the soup! And, and nobody's noticing it! Your restaurant, do something! I am a figment of your imagination. But he's ruining the soup! <laughs> you gotta tell someone that he's that. Remy is very attached to this soup. Okay, God seriously wants this rat to drown. Ah! Kitchen is a is a dangerous place for a rat. <laughs> this place is a nightmare. Uh, what you don't get your head lopped off. I don't know the people that gotta eat this food now. Oh my god. That was the luckiest game. Yeah. You get the whole restaurant shut down. These guys are about to lose another star. <laughs> it can't be that bad. What do they say? You can always add ingredients, but you can't take them away. It can't have been that bad if that's all you added and, and it's fine now. Remy, what are you waiting for? Dude. Is this going to become a regular thing with you? You know how to fix it. Cool animation. <laughs> you are cooking! Oh, it's gonna taste it and it's gonna be fire. Oh, no. oh I thought I was fine. After you no, put him in the duck breast to squeeze the fire. Are they gonna be like compliments to the chef? Oh. <laughs> Don't cause a scene, bro. It's <laughs> like he's losing his bastard mind, not with the stepladder. You're a short king. Dude, she's a chef. But he, uh, uh, he, uh, he, 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 he,
right? You'd basically have to know what the initial soup was, let that guy fuck it up again, and then correct it. Although his palate is so refined, so he knows everything that's in everything. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, sucker. <laughs> Here's your ticket to, you know, cook in heaven. Literally, he's in, he's, he is his meal ticket into the restaurant industry. This is it. I mean, it, it's, uh, it's not Cozy. much, but it's, uh, you know... Uh, Snug. There's heat and light and a couch with a TV, so, you know, what's mine is yours. Oh, man, look at that view, though. Kind of living the dream now. Morning, little chef. Rise and shine. Oh no. Egg's gone. Stupid. He's it's, stolen. He's cooking your what breakfast. That's what I get for trusting a rat. Knew it. Omelets, man. What? Uh... Oh, look at the size differences. Mm. <laughs> That's good. What, what'd you put in this? Has anyone made that omelet from the bear yet with the, the crisps on top? I need to make that. So, Borsan in the middle. Does anyone watch the bear? The bear's awesome. The soup was a revelation. A spicy yet subtle taste experience. Against all odds, Gustos has recaptured our attention. Don't, 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 don't. And it's all down it. to Remy. Well, they think it's down to this guy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. I've seen this in F and F Royal Events. Under the hat. <laughs> it was making an entrance. It's like he's got worms. Welcome to hell. Now, <laughs> recreate the soup. Take as much time as you need. See, this is a lesson. When you're too good at work, you get more responsibility. And usually, little more pay. If any, get the exact same as everyone else, but you get a bit more work. Yeah. There's got to be a better way to communicate. It's <laughs> like bad stuff, break dancing. <laughs> this is his process. <laughs> yes, sir. No headshake from a rat. The rat. One can get too familiar with vegetables, you know. Vegetables. <laughs> oh, would have cost you myself vegetables. <laughs> the Matrix bullet time. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> no! It's like a, a video game tutorial. Man, I, I, yeah, I don't really want to be chopping shit up blindfolded. Although it must be something blind people have to, you know, cope with. I struggle to flip. <laughs> Two die of freak pancake incident. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think my guy has the finances to be wasting all of this stuff. Damn, look at that transition. Congratulations. You were able to repeat your accidental success. <laughs> Colette will be responsible for teaching you how we do things here. This is how listen, we do such a... No, you listen. I just want you to know exactly who you are dealing with. How many women do you see in this kitchen? She's like, I'll cut a bitch. <laughs> but still I'm here. How did this happen? <laughs> because, well, because you... Because I am the toughest cook in this kitchen. I have worked too hard for too long to get here. Got that and I crazy not enough. Go home! <laughs> you owe me some new chef wow. lights, lady. I think he's turned on. <laughs> Gusto makes Chinese food. Chinese. <laughs> 
Excellent work, Francois. As appropriation. Usual, <laughs> I want you to work up some for my favorite <laughs> frozen just food. Just different concept. variations. Gusto's corn puppies. They're like corn dogs, only smaller. You're cheapening the name, bro. Cheap sausages dipped in butter and deep fried. You know. American. Yeah. <laughs> oh, America's catching strays. Dude, it's just, uh, it's just about making money. Get my lawyer. Mm. Well, the, uh, we'll stipulate that if after a period of the two years... What I want to know is if this letter... If this boy changes anything! Oh shit. My guy about to inherit the whole restaurant. He's not Gusto's son. Gusto had no children. The deadline in the will expires in less than a month. Highly suspect. What does she want? A job. For the boy. Only a job. Well. I was gonna do a DNA test. I will need you to collect some DNA samples from the boy. He knows something. Relax, he's a garbage boy. I think you can handle him. <laughs> he looks terrified. <laughs> I really like the character design in this. I like the style. You think cooking is a cute job, eh? Like mommy in the kitchen? Well, mommy never had to face the dinner rush. What is this? Keep your station clear. She's like my food economics teacher at school. Keep your station clear or I will kill you. Actually, she's a bit angrier. <laughs> keep your arms in. You will minimize cuts and burns and keep your sleeves clean. Messy apron, clean sleeves. Messy apron, clean sleeves. See, I drop food down myself all the time in any case, any instance, whether I'm eating or preparing. How do you tell a good bread is without tasting it? Not the smell, not the look, the not the sound. The sound. Oh, symphony Ooh. of crackle. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, it's kind of sexy, actually. <laughs> and there are only two ways to get first pick. Grow it yourself or bribe a grower. Why not? The best restaurant, get first pick. Hello there. Run away from home at 12. Got hired by circus people as an apple bar. And then he get fired for messing around with the ringmaster's daughter. First. I've done time. Hello. What for? I robbed the second largest bank in France using only <laughs> a ballpoint pen. I created a hole in the ozone of rabbit. <laughs> it's you. It's your doing. Don't ever play cards with Pompidou. He's been banned from Yeah, we got some characters in this kitchen, Pompidou. man. LaRousse ran gone for the resistance. Which resistance? He won't say. <laughs> Only they didn't win. <laughs> uh -oh. Thank you, by the way, for all the advice about cooking. Thank you, too. For, for what? For taking it. Oh, I think I think we got a little thing going on. But, 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 but he, I he just dropped my keys. He's going to be thinking he's going crazy. Your soup is, is, is excellent. Uh -huh. but, but we order it every time. Yeah, what else do you have? Well, something else. Yeah, we can't be a one-trick pony. we got to uh, expand. So what is that? What is that? You? Here are you blathering about. Customers are asking, but it's new. What should I tell them? What did you tell them? I told them I would ask. <laughs> this is simple. <laughs> Just pull out. They know about the old stuff. They like linguine soup. Is this where we make ratatouille? If it's linguine they want, tell them Chef Linguine has prepared something special for them. Definitely off menu. Hmm? Mm. Oh, and don't forget to stress it's... Linguiness. Now is your chance to try some. See, you think he's gonna burn up? I think he's gonna shine. I've got every faith in you, Linguini, Remy. Colette will help you. We chef. Now, and Colette. Are you sure? That recipe was a disaster. Gusto himself said so. Just the sort of challenge a budding chef needs. So he's setting him up to fail. Cuttlefish, tentacle, dog rolls, puree, gooey duck egg. Dried white fungus and chilvy licorice sauce. It doesn't sound great, I'll be honest. Four, five, At least we've got all the controls sorted now. Yeah. Oh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Need to borrow this real quick. Uh, let's see over here. I'll be back. Right. He's in charge of like a giant bio uh, mech. Excuse me, I'm gonna. Uh, Apparently, uh, I need this. I'll be right back. Hey, I'm going to figure... Your recipe doesn't call for white truffle oil. What the hell have you been... You are improvising. We're going jazz now, baby. Ah! Oh. <gasps> Don't you dare. 
I'm not. I'm not. I'm. <laughs> so for her rough now. Did you taste it? Ah, of course. Before he changed it. How could he change it? He changed it as it was going out the door. Say I have seven more orders. That's seven more orders. It's a hit. Uh oh. He's gonna end up in a padded cell by the end of this. <laughs> Got your tug. Is that what they're called? Togues? I, I just took it to be polite. I don't really drink. 61 Chateau Latour. And you, Chateau Monsieur Latour. Linguini, let us toast your non idiocy. I hope nothing bad happens to Remy by the end of this. I know what these movies are like. They make me fall in love with the character and take him away from me. Family member? His brother. Remy! Yes! Oh, I can't believe Where you been, buddy? What are you eating? What are you eating? I don't really know. <laughs> I think he was some sort of rapper once. What? Remy! Yeah. You are stealing. You told Linguini he could trust you. And he can. It's under control, okay? No way. Don't get carried away. But Okay. So, <laughs> My guy's getting lit. Surely you don't expect me to believe this is your first time cooking. It's not. I knew it! It's my second, third, fourth, fifth time. Keep it together. Loose lips, sink ships, and all that. Got to teach you about food. Close your eyes. Now, take a bite. No! 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 no. Don't just fork it down! Too late. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Chew it slowly. Mm. Only think about the taste. Oh, this is making me really hungry. Not I haven't had a banana today. Crisp, slight tang on the finish. Okay. Now, try them together. I like how they're depicting flavor in this. Uh-huh. You lost me again. <laughs> no, that's cool. I really like how they're using kind of visuals and music to depict taste. Thing is, I kind of have to... I got a job. I got to work tomorrow. Have you ever had a pet rat? No. Did you work in a lab with rats? <laughs> no. So perhaps you lived Sky in is... squalor at some point. Nobody, nobody knew. <laughs> you know nobody, nobody knew. You Sky know is, a, is a vault. You know, Fort Knox. You know. Ratatouille doesn't sound delicious. It sounds like rat and patootie. <laughs> rat patootie, <laughs> which does not sound delicious. <laughs> I've never thought of ratatouille sounding like rats, to be honest. I know rats in the name, but I've never thought about it like that. Nothing's been poisoned, thank God, but it hasn't been easy. I am sorry, Dad. Well, the important thing is that you're home. <laughs> Drinking out of little acorn cups. You're not staying? No, it's not a big deal. All we do is take, Dad. I'm tired of taking. I want to add something to this world. You're talking like a human. Who are not as bad as you say. Oh, yeah? What makes you so sure? Oh, man. I've uh, been able to uh, observe them at a, a close-ish <laughs> sort of range. I feel like we need to go on Mori or Springer or something. <laughs> Come with me. I got something I want you to see. You know, I, I'm going to stay here. Yeah, I wouldn't get involved either if I were you. Those encounter tops are clean before you lock up. Wait, you want me to stay and clean? Is that a problem? Oh. Is he still smashed? <laughs> oh, my God. This is what happens when a rat gets a little too comfortable. When all is said and done, we're all we've got. Oh, man. They're in a kill zone. You can't change nature. Change is nature, Dad. Where are you going? With luck. Forward. The brave guy. Literally just been shown corpses in the window and weapons for their death and destruction. He's like, eh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make my way. Hey, yeah. Maybe <laughs> Maybe his confidence is a little bit stupid. I don't know. Oh man, is, has he even cleaned up? <laughs> like sleepwalking. I, I could do a Remy. I could get like 40 winks while uh, someone else controls me. I did Ooh. used to sleepwalk, but I've never done anything of value with it. <laughs> Stop it.
<laughs> Looks out of it. The chef, he uh, invited you in for a drink. That's big. They were jealous. What? <laughs> what, you can't tell me? Uh, uh, forgive me, I thought you were different. I thought you thought I was different. <laughs> hey! but, I didn't have to was killing me. If I looked out only for myself, I would have let you drown. I ain't got a clue what's going on. I wanted you to succeed. I liked you. My mistake. Colette. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> what are Colette! Oh, it's over, little chef. I can't do it anymore. It's like hanging out of his ass as well. <sighs> you have talent. No, but I don't. I, really, it's not me. I would have followed your advice to the ends of the earth because I love you. Your advice. <laughs> Good save. You might be coming out a bit strong. I have a what, I have a rash. A rash? You had a rash? No, no. no. <laughs> you should get that check, bro. This, this tiny, uh, a little. This isn't little, how you get girls to sleep with you. A tiny chef who tells me what to do. <laughs> a tiny. Like chef. a like a penis. Yes, yes. <laughs> He's um. Sounds like you from for penis. I'm gonna risk looking like the biggest idiot psycho you've ever seen. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm <laughs> such a about fast to pull out the mace. <laughs> you wanna know why I'm such a great cook? Don't laugh. I'm, I'm going to show you. <laughs> From her perspective, she's like, this guy's fucking no, mental. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you pulled that off, buddy. I, I don't know how you pulled that off. I look like assault from a crazy person from my perspective but she just went with it okay then <laughs> oh god it's the craig like Bukowski there with his wine typing away finally closing is it announced a new line of microwave egg rolls what what egg spit rolls. it out it's popular <laughs> Fuming. My last review condemned it to the tourist train. That was my last word. The last word. He looks like a Tim Burton character. How could it be popular? Pop no, 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 no. The thing is a setup. The boy How is he going to find out, though? Look at him out there, pretending to be an idiot. He's <laughs> the <laughs> I really like how this is uh, directed. <laughs> Super funny. That appears on the boy's first night. I order him to kill it. And now he wants me to see it everywhere. Ooh. Ooh, it's here. No, it isn't here. Am I seeing things? Am I crazy? Is that my is that not? Should I be concerned about this? About... You. I told you, dude. The men in white coats are going to be coming for you. And not the, the, the chef whites. Yeah, he was, he was catching a glance of that baby. I saw you. I saw you. Isn't it good to have Gusto's name getting headlines? Not if they're over his face. Gusto's already has a face. And it's fat and lovable and familiar. And it sells burritos. You're making a mockery of his name. He would have hated burritos. Oh, you may have loved burrito. I don't know. I was worried about the hair sample. The first time it came back identified as rat. Rodent hair. <laughs> now he's got a balanced Remy and this bird. Uh, uh. This is not a place for little tiny creatures. He's just trying to survive, like everyone else. Oh, look at his little feet. I was reminded how fragile it all was. How the world really saw me. It's sad, man. It's really sad. Hey, Rebby. How you doing? You told them? They have, like, they have as much right as us to exist. Bunch of Remy's just want to live. Ideals? If Chef Fancy Pants had any ideals, you think I'd be hocking barbecue over here? A microwave burrito? <laughs> yeah, or tooth, I say, toothpick and chicken? <laughs> By the French, it's a corn dog. <laughs> We're inventing new ways to sell out over here. Yeah, no. Sell out is the correct word. Oh, here it is. Hey, your will. 
Oh, oh this is how, this is no, how, people. this is how we find out. Linguine? <laughs> His face. Not only is he a master chef, he can read. He's your son? I have a son? How could you not know this? <laughs> I am a figment of your imagination. <laughs> you did not know. The rightful owner of this restaurant. No, no, Donat. Oh. He's not my document. He's getting away. I wasn't expecting a chase scene in this. It's like the Bourne movies all over again. We got a bump coming up. Oh. Oh. Fucking hell. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you get out of my office. He's not in your office. You are in his. Oh fuck! Yeah. I didn't think that was gonna come out until the end. I thought um, I thought he would have been down and out, and then he would have found out. <laughs> Moving up in the world, man. I feel like if he was to tell Linguini, Linguini would sort him out and he wouldn't have to steal from the from the walk-in. Oh god, this is gonna get out of hand. <laughs> Definitely a butt guy. All about the cake. You want the truth? I am uh Goost Gusto's son. It's in my blood, I guess. But Damn, is Remy gonna get jealous that he's not getting the credit? Uh, inspiration has many names. Mine is named Colette. <laughs> what? What about Remy, bro? <laughs> Bonjour, ma chérie. Join us. Oh, man, he's gonna be getting drunk off his own hype. Don't believe in your sauce too much, dude. Be humble. In the words of Kendrick Lamar. But I thought it only fair to give you a sporting chance as you are new to this game. Game? Yes. And you've been playing without an opponent. No, we got an opponent. We, we got an opponent, dude. You haven't been paying attention. You're slow for someone in the fast lane. And you're thin for someone who likes food. <gasps> <laughs> Just trading barbs. If I don't love it, I don't swallow. I heard that before. You're not, you're not, you're not. <laughs> you fucking Your opinion isn't the only one that matters here. Go take a break, little chef. I'm not your puppet. Dude, have you forgotten how you got here? The rat is the cook. It's like you're his fluffy buddy or something. It's okay. I've been selfish. You guys hungry? Yeah. What are you kidding? Oh, no. Tell dad to bring the whole clan. Little chef. Dude, you're better than this, Remy. You're better than this. Now he feels bad, but it's too late. Remy's gone rogue. An inside job, huh? I see the appeal. See, Remy's gonna feel super bad after this. I think he's gonna feel very guilty. I'm just wondering at what point the, the guilt is gonna set in. Little chef. Oh my god. It didn't seem right to leave things the way that we did, so. Look. <laughs> like a little camouflaged in the tiles. Not, people will be disappointed. <laughs> it's real weird. You know, I, the only reason anyone expects anything from me now is because of you. He's got such sad eyes, Remy. Dude, it's full of great. been a good friend. The most honorable friend that I could ever have. <laughs> you didn't rumble, guys. How could you? I, I thought you were my friend. We're I in a bad place. I'm sorry, we you just and reacted. And don't come back or I'll treat you the way restaurants are supposed to treat pests. <sighs> Who am I kidding? We are what we are. And we're rats. Oh. 
What's this dream job, man? Kind of lost a job, lost a friend. Side like your heart, roasted on a spit. <laughs> Dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he remembers a little bit of how to cook. You are the boss. Inspire him. Attention. Putting those steps to good use. Appetite is coming, and he's going to have a big ego. <laughs> I mean ego. And he's going to order something. Something from our menu. Not a great rousing speech, is it? Nothing on Tyrion Lannister. There's a brave men knocking at our door. Let's go kill them. <laughs> Observe. No, wait! Uh, oh no! <laughs> oh my god. It goes. Let's cook! Yeah, let's. Okay. Maybe it's a role he'll grow into. You will create for me a new line of Chef Skinner frozen foods. And I, in return, will not kill you. <laughs> He has the saddest, most expressive eyes. Do you know what you would like this evening, Zara? <laughs> After reading a lot of overheated puffery about your new puffery. Book, uh, puffery. I'd like some fresh, clear, well-seasoned perspective. With, uh, what, sir? Yeah, Pers what? Are you trying to be clever? You provide the food, I'll provide the perspective. How long has he been working on that one? Your dinner selection? Tell your chef to hit me with his best shot. So, we have given up. Why do you say that? We are in a cage inside the car trunk, awaiting a future in frozen food products. No, I'm the one in a cage. I've grim. Up. I know who I am. Why do I need you to tell me? Why do I need to pretend? But you don't, Remy. You never did. Oh, the Pat Oswalt has the perfect voice for an anime rap. He's got the, the wrath of like thousands of rats. <laughs> Where are you going? Back to the restaurant. They'll fail without me. He's got a very low expectation of Linguini. How can you not know your own recipe? I didn't write it down. It just came to me. Don't make it come to you again, yeah? Because we can't do this! Where is my order? Maybe his expectation was correct. <laughs> they are not talking about me. They are talking about oh what God. to do right now. <laughs> Don't touch him! Can help. <laughs> I'm only <already> overkill. <laughs> I know this sounds insane, but, well, the truth sounds insane sometimes, but that doesn't mean it's not. Okay, is everyone gonna get in on it? He's been hiding under my tote. <laughs> you believed I could cook, right? <laughs> Look. <laughs> everyone is it's stunned. <laughs> we can be the greatest restaurant in Paris, and this rat, this brilliant little chef, can lead us there. What do you say? You with me? Get out. <laughs> uh, oh, no. There wasn't a good chance of that going well, to be fair. The whole rat army gonna help him. What's collected, I think? Oh my god. She's about to get abusive. <laughs> I'd, I'd keep an eye on her. <laughs> uh, ow. The, the, whole, the rat army's got help, right? Because how, how on earth is he going to keep a whole restaurant running for a, for an evening? Fake a gas leak or phone in a bomb scare. Dad. His dad's going to come on board Dad, of his I... dreams. This really means that much to you? Knew it. You tell us what to do and we'll get it done. <laughs> You're early. <laughs> it's about to get dark. <laughs> go, go, go! Those handling food will walk on two legs! <laughs> We're all standing up now. If he can run a restaurant tonight, he can run a restaurant any night. This is going to be a huge leap in his capabilities. That steak is nice and tenderized. I love the creativity and how the animals are preparing the food. Colette, wait! 
Colette, you came back. She'd be like, dude, you are a crazy person. Look at the scene. <laughs> we got an infestation. Ratatouille? It's a peasant dish. Are you sure you want to serve this to Eagle? I wondered when the name, when the Ratatouille was going to come in. I was thinking we weren't even going to make it. <laughs> At this point, who doesn't know about rats cooking the dish? What? I am making ratatouille. Well, how would you prepare it? Oh, wow. We're, we're really zhuzhing it up. He's zhuzhing it right up. He's zhuzh Michael. Okay, okay. This looks very... Gourmet. This some serious gourmet shit. Right to me, but make it Michelin star. He's gonna get some colour into his face. Oh man, sending him right back to childhood. This is what you want from food. Who cooks the ratatouille? I demand to know! Uh -oh. <laughs> He's going to come on side, surely. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe he comes on side, but no. We'll just uh, bind and gag him. And now I find myself in the extraordinary position of having my waiter be the chef. Thanks, but I'm just your waiter tonight. Then who do I thank for the meal? Uh, excuse me a minute? Oh, he's going to send Colette out. But then why should Colette take the credit as well, if he's not going to take it? You must be the chef. If you wish to meet the chef, you'll have to wait until all the other customers have gone. Okay, we're actually going to bring Remy out. Give him his flowers. How many balls are we on? Two or three? He's going to be stumbling out of there. Two's probably my limit before it gets weird. As Linguini explains, Ego's smile disappears. He doesn't react beyond asking an occasional question. He's in disbelief. Brother's lost for words. The following day, his review appears. I'm intrigued. The world is often unkind to new talent, new creations. The new needs friends. Last night, I experienced something new. An extraordinary meal. Not everyone can become a great artist, but a great artist can come from anywhere. Nothing less than the finest chef in France. Aww. I will be returning to Gusto soon. High praise indeed. For more. Wow. Actually softened, softened the critic, changed his whole perspective, his whole mentality. I had to let Skinner and the health inspector loose. And of course they ratted us out. Oh, uh, what? Once it got out, there were rats in the kitchen. What am I going to do? Uh, gotta go. Dinner rush. <laughs> you know how he likes it. Thanks, little chef. Uh, Which one would you like? Surprise me. <laughs> Remy's food really unlocked some happiness in him. Food can do that, man. You know, food can brighten up your day. I think it brightened up his life. <laughs> brighten up his complexion. Okay, so we still got cues. Oh, and it's called Rat La Ratatouille. It's sad that he uh, lost the restaurant, but what are you going to do? Well, like I said, the food inspector caught, caught him. <laughs> and that was Ratatouille. That was a really enjoyable watch, man. It's not as kind of uh, devastating <laughs> and sad as some movies, uh, some Disney Pixar movies I've seen. This is quite mild. This is like, like a chicken korma rather than a vindaloo. Do you know what I mean? This is quite easy to, to digest. It wasn't too much, it wasn't too deep, but it was definitely uh, a, a heartwarming story. The stories that they're known for, man. I enjoy, I enjoy cooking. I feel like I've got quite a noisy, messy mind. I'm always like doing, like 10 different things at once and I, I can't seem to concentrate on on one specific thing I'll, I, I'll i'll leave a path of destruction of half done tasks and i'll be holding like 20 things like i'm all over the place but in the kitchen i feel like that can kind of i i, I can kind of zo like zen it's almost like a bit of meditation so this was kind of right up my street man uh, it's, it's, it's one of the few places the kitchen when I'm locked in a zone where my mind quietens and I can like 
just every, all the noise dies down, man. And I feel like well, maybe we're not giving food the credit it deserves. You know, food's got a, a innate ability to, you know, it brings people together. It can, it can solve problems. You can forge friendships. You can forge loves. Um, you know, you can have so much going on. If you just have like a delicious meal, it's not going to solve all your problems, but you know, for a few seconds or a few moments or a few mouthfuls, or maybe the whole meal, if you're lucky, you might forget about that bill or that problem or, you know, that thing that's been playing on your mind, that devastating piece of news, some health issues, you know, you'll just be kind of in, in the zone, just enjoy it, enjoying life, enjoying, enjoying this delicious meal. I feel like I'm getting a bit existential on this. Maybe that's how we solve world peace. Have we tried that? Have we tried meals? Have we tried having a little bit of a sit down? Get everyone together, make something delicious, get Remy in. Uh, you know, is this what Ratatouille does to people? <laughs> Did I mention the voice acting? I can't remember. But Patton Oswald, obviously, you know, I'm, obviously he was born to play Remy. That's all I can say. I can't think of anyone else who could have played him. Uh, and obviously everyone else as well. Everyone, I'll give it to everyone else. Yeah, they all do well as well. Where would this rank on your Mount Rushmore of Pixar movies uh, or Disney movies? Disney Pixar movies? Uh, maybe we should include Disney movies? I don't know. Where would this rank? Where do you reckon? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, man. I enjoyed watching this. It was different. If you want to uh, suggest any more animated movies to me, that'd be cool. Obviously, we've got full length over on Patreon and uh, I'll, I'll see you later, man. Take it easy, chefs. See you later. I don't know why I did that. That's new. <laughs>